Hey everyone, it's Anna Mae and today I'm going to be doing a little haul of some of the workwear kind of clothes I've picked up in the last little while. So I have started, well, like a month or over a month ago, I started working at a boutique in my local town and I'm going to be working there hopefully until December, until I move. So, so to kind of give you a rough idea of like my work environment, I don't even really know what to call it. The shop that I work in, um, is a women's clothing boutique and the customer base is a little bit older than my age I'd say I'm only 21 and um, and I'd say like it starts at like 30 is kind of the younger end of their customer base like the clothes are so cute but it's just that it's a higher price range so super young people don't typically go in there even though the stuff is super cute and upstairs we do um, stock dresses for you know wedding guests and like more formal dresses and things like that and uh, not like floor length typically but you know what I mean like wedding guest kind of short knee length dresses stuff and um, a lot of those are like Irish designers and stuff like that so it's a very nice boutique so because I there's another person my age who works there and um, well she's two three years younger than me um but other than that most of the people who work there um like on the floor are a good bit older than me so it was kind of hard for me to figure out exactly what I needed to wear um so I thought that if anybody else was in a situation like this where I can't wear denim basically and I can wear denim but I can't wear like jeans I'm not gonna wear like ripped jeans or jeans casually. If I'm wearing jeans, I'm probably gonna wear heels or wedges, like casual heels, not like stilettos, no. But um, yeah, you'll kind of get an idea of what I'm going for uh, as I go through. But it's kind of been hard to figure out because because I, when I started there, I was the only person my age working there and trying to figure out what was appropriate for my age and for where I'm working was kind of confusing. So that's, as I said, why I'm making this video, because hopefully, as well as showing you all the cute bits I bought, it would kind of maybe give some people some guidance as to what they might want to buy or wear to a job like this. So I'm not doing a try on haul because I am actually going to be doing a lookbook um, coming up in the next week or so. Um, I'm working the next six days, so um, at like 10 a.m. till 6 p.m. So I'm gonna have like, for sure, work outfits. Um, and then hopefully I will film them all and get a chance to upload. So maybe I'll have like six outfits, that'll be good. So the first thing I have was actually purchased a while ago and purchased by my mom. It is a dress from Jack Wills. Um, I probably won't be wearing it. If you can see, it's kind of got a peplum hem. It's really washed me out. I have self tanner on and everything. And it just has quite a high neck. I think this is a UK six. Are you for sure? But I know my mom tried it on because we're a really similar size and she saw it and it was a great deal. So she tried it on. But this kind of thing, a nice basic dress is good. Things that are baggier, flowier, but still very put together are kind of what I've been going for. Uh, as well as the fact that I live in Ireland. So it is cold and that has been a major factor because I really feel the cold. I am a, I am a cold blooded creature. Um, so I don't do well in the shop because it's obviously indoors and shaded. But it's summer, so we don't have like heating on. You know, if it is warm, we'll have the air con. We need it because it gets stuffy. But um, even though it's summer, sorry, I'm just buttoning up a shirt. Uh, I've been really feeling the cold in the shop um, just because it's me and I'm like that. So I'm trying to find summer options for the colder summer days so I don't freeze my butt off. But they're not jumpers because they tend to look too casual. So layering is good. And one thing I picked up, um, two of these shirts are denim and they're from like the Gap for Good line from Gap Denim. Gap Denim is the best Gap products. The reason I, the rest of the stuff I'm pretty sure, except for the, no, not the rest of the stuff. But um, a lot of the stuff in this haul is from Gap because I heart Gap. Um, because I am a mom, basically. Um, the quality of this stuff is just, you can't fault it. I had been looking for a denim slash chambray kind of shirt for a long time. I didn't want popper buttons. This has regular buttons. And I didn't, I wanted an actual collar, not a grandfather collar. And I wanted it to have preferably one pocket or two pockets, but no buttons on the pockets. Cause it looks like you're nipping through a jumper. And it just, it never lies smoothly and it bothers me. So it does have a pocket, which is so cute because I do love pockets and it has really cute sleeves and it fits really nice. I would have sized down if I could, but it was on sale. All the stuff was on sale, so um, that's why I just got what I could get. A lot of the time I'm an extra small in the tops and gap and I think I'm a small in the pants. So um, 
yeah, I got this for layering and for wearing by itself, but because I'm not wearing denim pants very often, because they're a bit too casual, um, I was just like, denim tops, they'll match everything. So that is the other thing, one of the other things I got. So second from Gap, I got this top, which is a medium petite, because I am like touching five foot three, so I'm not very big and that definitely kind of changes some of my clothing choices. Uh, this is also in the Gap for Good line. And as I said, it's medium petite. And if you can see there, it kind of ties up at the front. I'm definitely gonna be wearing it this this week because it's supposed to get warm. Woohoo! Um, it is not warm right now in Ireland. Like, this is not a real tan. It came from a bottle. I'm only wearing a t-shirt because I took off my jumper two minutes ago to film this video. Um, but again, buttons, it kind of scoops a little bit lower at the back and it's got short sleeves. If I could, I would have gotten this in an extra small, I will say that. But they only had a medium petite, which is fine because I'm short, so petite works. And then medium, it's baggy anyways. But this was a pretty good price and I know I'm gonna wear this a lot because the only concern with this is that it comes a little low, but you know, not gonna hide anything either. Um, I'm not going out of my way to hide myself, I'm just, Sometimes I always get cold if I have my chest like too exposed outside. I'm just gonna say that. Um, I just feel cold, okay? Um, this was such a good deal and I would definitely, I'm gonna try and link some of these below. Uh, also from Gap, this was only nine euro, I believe, like 9.50. And it is also in the Gap for Good line. That's basically all the stuff I buy is Gap for Good because it's a bit more sustainable. I'll maybe be making a video on sustainable shopping a bit more recently because it's not something I'm good at but it's something I'm actively trying to do more when I do buy I buy for the long term um so this is not just for this job hopefully some of this stuff will be able to just carry through into life um for you know the next couple of years but it's a really nice quality t-shirt it's really thick it's not too stretchy so it's not like too clingy um especially across the chest because I hate when you can see bra lines through a t-shirt even if it's like properly fitted it just bothers me to no end so the sleeves are really cute it's that seams all down the front and again i'll probably end up wearing that mm. i'd say i'll wear it casually i'd say look for that on my instagram which is at anime.white tea it's always linked down below and lastly from gap i have pants i got these pants in navy when I got the jeans i'm wearing woo i'm actually wearing distressed jeans which is wild for me um but I got these distressed jeans and these pants that I'm going to show you now, these chinos. They are the girlfriend chinos. I got those in a separate order to see how they went because I think the navy ones were quite cheap. And then they got even further reduced and I wanted to buy more of them anyway. So that's why I knew I was buying pants and then I just said, I'm paying shipping. I have to just buy the other things that I was thinking of getting that would be good for work. Also, they have the gap for good line and it's, it lasts forever so um i've just had really good experience with gap in the past for things so this is also in the gap for good line and they're kind of an unusual color i thought that they were a different color when i bought them on bought them because i bought them online but they have really nice seam detailing i will 100 percent be wearing these uh, in that lookbook and i am a six petite if you are wondering gap sizing for me i'm like a six on point like it's perfect i have worn eights before but all those pants wore out and recently I ripped the booty of three of them if you've been following me on Instagram. So uh, yeah, I'm excited to wear these. I think they're a fun color and they're gonna go really nicely with all of the denim I bought as well as like black and white because the navy kind of restricted me in that way. And I also wear white jeans a lot, but you'll see that in the lookbook. Lastly, what has been like a real big staple for me are these like sweater tops and a couple of my friends kind of make fun of me because I own a lot of sweater tops like this. I think I own about seven in different ways, shapes and forms, colors. Um, but this one was from Dunn Stores. If you're Irish, you'd know what that is. It's very cheap. Um, and I think it was about 12 euro. My mom actually got it for me. Uh, but I love it because it's bright pink and I took pictures in it, but they all turned out kind of crap. Um, so I never posted them, I don't think, but uh, it's really fun and I've been wearing it a lot and it looks really good with white jeans. So yeah, I think this is a fun addition as well, but it's nice to have something kind of basic like this because it's comfortable as well as like appropriate for work, doing what I'm doing. 
So lastly, gonna try and move quickly through this because it's getting so long. Uh, I have like shoes and accessories. So recently I purchased, so I wear pearls a lot and I also got a pair of Kate Spade stud earrings, um, which I'll probably again show in that lookbook at some point, that I got for graduating. Uh, I just graduated college, I got it from a family member. So I got these super, I'm gonna bring these closer, it be awkward. So, so it won't focus on these, but you can kind of see they're like, big blinging earrings. I like to wear earrings all the time. So I got those and they were like half price in my town. So it was like, they were not expensive at all. And these were even cheaper. These were nine euro. And uh, they are, as you can see, they're hoops. And they're so cute. They are gold hoops. And they have like hot pink thread on the hoop. <laughs> um, but they're so cute and they were super cheap and I got them in actually a boutique I never go into in my town. Um, but yeah, I love them and I think they're gonna be like really good to like jazz up outfits. So lastly, I have two pairs of shoes. One was purchased out of cuteness and the other was purchased out of necessity and the necessity ones my mom actually bought. I'm gonna be really honest with you. So the like practical pair are these from Clarks. They're just like flats and they have, well they have like a little, little heel like that. They're very like, basic shoes and they have like a shiny toe cap and they're really cute it says um wider fitting somewhere but they're actually not wide fitting i actually have quite narrow feet so they're a little loose and then being on my feet all day they fit well they don't like rub too much so these are super comfortable and um, it's because i was wearing jack rogers all the time and they were cutting my feet to bits but uh, my mom actually got these in the outlet for me that's why she got them more because they were cheap and um, and yeah these have been a real staple and i would definitely suggest getting a pair of flats they're like decent and not like 12 euro flats from pennies and um, because your feet will break. Um, and then the cute pair of shoes that I got are these. I don't know if I hauled these before, but I actually haven't been able to wear them because, uh, again, if you're new here, hi, I'm Anna Mae, and I fell down some stairs like two, three months, two months ago. Um, but I'm like basically fully recovered now because I ran yesterday and no swelling or anything. So I had a grade three sprain in my ankle. So I had a complete tear. It was, it was a bad time. It was, not, it was not good. I was in a boot. So I haven't really graduated to wearing heels well not heels yeah they are heels they're like little heels uh, all day yet but i'm really excited to crack these out they're so pretty they just have a little strap here but i know they're gonna cut into my feet so bad so i'm not gonna wear them for like a full day only if i'm working a couple hours i'll probably wear them but i think they're really like the low heel but then because i'm short i found a lot of the time i do look quite young i know that especially like in real life and sometimes when i'm dealing with a customer i need to almost convince them that i'm my age and that can be a problem because of my height so sometimes i'm dealing with a person i'm literally looking up at them and i'm like oh yeah sure i can help you and they're kind of like are you sure and that's annoying so if you can hack it wear heels i do wear them on shorter days because i don't know it just for me it just gives like a better appearance to be a little bit taller wearing big girl shoes honestly makes a difference. So that is my very long haul uh, of all these things I've purchased for work recently. Um, I have lots of other videos coming up. I actually have like time kind of to film now. Um, so definitely subscribe to my channel to see more. Thank you if you made it this far. Comment down below if you made it the whole way, because wow. Um, if you're not already, follow me on Instagram at anime.yt and I will see you in my next video.